If you have a Windows computer, and you're one of those people who refrain from altering the defaults, and simply use the computer with all its factory settings, then you will notice that the hard drive in your computer always starts with the letter C. Why is that? Why is C the default drive letter, rather than A, which would make more sense intuitively on so many computers? As it turns out, there is an interesting reason behind the C domination. But in order to understand this curious choice, we must first delve into the history of computing and explore the evolution of storage devices. Hello, and welcome to Curiosity Factor. Today, we are presenting you with the curious case of Drive C. So, let's get started. In the early days of computing, computers were large, room-filling machines with limited storage capacity and data input and output were managed through external devices like punched cards and paper tapes. There was no concept of drive letters just yet. It was only with the arrival of disk storage that the need for a standardized method of organizing and accessing different storage media arose. The IBM 1440, one of the earliest computers to use disk storage, marked the beginning of this transition. Drives A and B were originally reserved for floppy disk drives, and the letters were associated with the physical location of these drives on the computer. For those who don't know, floppy disks were magnetic storage devices, very slim, and similar to the save button that you see in Microsoft Word. Floppy disks quickly became a popular choice for early personal computers in the 70s and 80s. The floppy disk drives were assigned the letters A and B to correspond with the physical slots on the computer housing these devices. This made it easy for users to identify and access the removable storage media. At that time, Drive C did not exist in the common lexicon of computer users. Instead, the primary storage was often referred to simply as the hard drive or the disk drive. These early hard drives were not assigned a specific letter, as the concept of drive letters had not yet been fully established. But the introduction of Microsoft's Disk Operating System, DOS, in the early 80s played an important role in shaping the conventions of drive letter. DOS quickly became the dominant operating system of IBM-compatible personal computers, and it was also DOS that solidified the association of Drive C with the primary hard disk. The decision to use Drive C for the primary hard disk was not arbitrary. At the time, computers often had two floppy disk drives, and the convention of using A and B for these drives had already been established. When hard drives became a standard feature in personal computers, the logical choice was to designate the next available letter in the alphabet for the primary hard disk. This led to the emergence of Drive C as the default location for the operating system and main storage. As computing advanced, compatibility with existing software and hardware became increasingly important. Since the main drive was now called Drive C, all software applications had to be written with the assumption that the primary storage would be Drive C and not some other random letter. To avoid breaking compatibility with existing software and to ensure a smooth transition for users, subsequent operating systems, including Windows, continued the tradition of using Drive C as the default location for the system files and primary storage. Over time, Drive C became synonymous with the heart of the computer's storage system. Despite the evolution of computing and the emergence of new storage technologies and floppy disks becoming obsolete, the convention of using Drive C as the primary storage persists. Modern operating systems, including Windows 10, still default to Drive C for system files and primary storage. While the specific reasons for choosing Drive C over other letters may have faded into the annals of computing history, the legacy of this decision endures. Drive C has become an integral part of the collective understanding of computer storage, a symbol of the evolution of technology and the continuity of computing conventions. We think that the primary storage of Windows computers will continue to stay as Drive C for a long, long time. But do you think there could be anything that could change that? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoy learning new and interesting facts, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again in our next video.